Jesus. And those criminal social workers and mental health workers within the confines of Lake Alice. And why let these people get justice? And Helen Clark was no better. That she allowed these people to be physically or sexually abused is unacceptable. These were kids, some as young as four years old, men and women. No, we cannot allow the likes of Oranga Tamariki to exist in New Zealand. They cause more damage than harm and than good. And we've got to sort out the rubber stamping of these judges in the New Zealand Family Court. What a criminal bunch they've turned out to be. They don't stand up for the law. They stand up for their own private behaviour. Criminals. We've got to stop them. We've tried to complain to ministers. And I'm sick of listening to their chunk. So, we're starting a new campaign. We're going to go and find these people. And we're going to protest outside their homes. Brooklyn versus New Zealand Police, Supreme Court of Appeal. If you're a shoppy, criminal, lying, low-life social worker working for Oranga Tamariki, or a shoppy, useless lawyer not doing his job properly, or a dirty cop, expect us to be on your door. We've just had enough. You're losing our taxpayers' money to abuse us. They're outrageous. You're not standing up for our people. I've had enough, and I know there's many of us here today and all around New Zealand and across the 62 sites of Oranga Tamariki where we've been outside yesterday and we're also outside them today in Kaitaia and in Christchurch and we're no longer going to allow our taxpayers' money to abuse us. And Grogne Moss, pack your bags! And I'm not listening to any of these women that want to tell us that they're going to run our country in the next three years and try to convince us that our children are safe. New Zealand is a very dangerous country to be a protective parent or a child because the state is the biggest abuser by far. And we're seeing that in the Royal Commission on Sexual Abuse. We've seen it with the Bouchier Ombudsman Report, the lawlessness. We've seen it in the Waitangi Tribunal. We've seen it with Bada Hora Reports. There's no change. It hasn't changed. All I did was rebrand it from social development to child, youth and family to Ministry of Vulnerable Children to Oranga Tamariki. Those same senior management are running the show outside of this 